Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel and another video, I'm just putting my phone up there. I have just washed my hair and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, how you look so much blonde. I actually had a bit of a bleach. I just went for a full head of bleach instead of like a full head of highlights and I'm loving it, but I'm just letting it dry out because I've had to leave loads of oil effects on it to try and keep it in good condition. And I apologize if you can hear a lot of going on in the background. Um, we have arrived at the Premier Inn um, and I feel so bad because, like, let me just prop myself on the back. Um, so, as I said, ignore the situation that's going on in my hair. Let's tuck these. So, we um, have had a bit of a crazy week. There's a lot of admin stuff that got, had to get done, and I felt so bad because I couldn't sit down and film any YouTube videos. Like, my beard is hot, my home bag, and the bags are still in the cupboard of doom, waiting to have been filmed, but I just didn't get around to doing it, and now we're not home for a little while. So let's just get on in with the holiday vlogs. I'm sorry for missing out on the BMs and the home bagging haul. There'll be a lot more when I come back. But also, let's take it, I'm gonna take you to like the Spanish shops and let's see what's going on in, in the land of Gran Canaria. So we're flying out to Gran Canaria. When you watch this, maybe I'll try and get this up for Sunday. So this will go up on Sunday. So we'll have been there for like one day when this goes up. But yeah, my hair, it's super blonde like i'm not giving it the best justification right now because it's just wet and i haven't styled it or anything so i don't really know why i'm coming on like this but i started filming when i got it done yesterday like two days ago so i'm gonna add that vlog in here and put like two days ago and then we'll get back into tomorrow when we wake up and we go to the airport i'm so excited we've got our alarm set for 3 30 a.m so um well, yeah we're just we're just gonna i'm gonna end this film i'm just gonna go to bed for like literally once i've sorted this hair out i'm gonna go to bed and then we're gonna wake up and be in get well leaving for the airport i'm so excited um this lighting is just not bursting i'm gonna show you in the mirror cause, oh yeah look you can kind of see it. it looks yeah it's a vibe i really like it i'm gonna show you kind of see it better here it's just like basically my hair was always coming like because her hair is red well naturally quite auburn it was coming through all the time through the full head of highlights like my red hair was just breaking through it so i just said to my head just like what is the harm in me just doing a full head of bleach and my mum growing up she had a full head of bleach for like 15 years my mum always had long blonde hair so i thought i'll stuff it i'm gonna do it and i really like it and it's nice and blonde for going on holiday into the sun um and so yeah i've got all my essentials packed i'm gonna show you all some of the bits we've got packed and what's going on when we get to Gran Canaria um but yeah come with us for our travel vlog and going to the airport and all that good stuff um and a few weeks of sunshine videos hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel and another video wow it's early it's 5 a.m um i'm whispering Lou is still asleep me and my mom are off to Inverness, we're gonna get our hair done because me and Luke are on holiday in literally Wednesday night, Thursday night, fat three sleeps, but two sleeps because we leave on the Friday. So I thought I'd take you a little along with us for today, a little bit of a girls' day, and tomorrow. Well, I'm not quite sure what packing kind of vlog this is gonna be. Just gonna be a chilled out, get ready for holiday with me. I washed my hair last night and then let it dry as I was sleeping. I don't usually do that but it's actually gone quite nice and curly. Um, I'm just going to run the straightness through it because as I said I'm just getting my hair done. I'm going for kind of casual vibes today. I've gone for like a cardigan, black jeans um, because one it's a round trip of six hours and I just can't be bothered to look on trend today and two and I'm driving and I'm driving my mum and dad's car because our car's got an MOT we just couldn't time it better so let's just pray the MOT passes um so I'm driving my mum and dad's car which is absolutely fine and um yeah I've had my nails done holiday nails I think I'm gonna focus look how fabulous I've got like a lightning bolt a polka dot one like this gold one with like or black with gold around it and then another polka dot I was gonna go for colours but to be quite honest with you I just feel like it won't match on different outfits and we're there a while so I wanted to match so anyway I'm gonna get ready quickly um walk around time moms and um, we'll hopefully be on the road in the next 15 minutes. I'm just going for cash vibes. So today we plan to go to like Primark, get our hair done, B&M's and Boots and Tesco's. I've got a few like holiday bits I need to pick up. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with us and film as much as I can. So we have arrived in Inverness, mom say hi. So we're just, we've got about an hour. So we're just going to Primark first. 
and then we're going to get our hair done and uh, mum first fan on the works and said to me about maybe going full bleach blonde because I don't know we've just been thinking about it but we'll see what we get done mum's going red aren't you yeah. and yeah we're just going to Primark so maybe we'll see some nice bits and I've got a little list I'm going to try and stick to the list um, this time we go in do you want to get anything in particular um, I don't know maybe some pyjamas some pyjamas okay let's see what we find going in Oh my gosh, mom, there's loads of glitz and glam in here. I just saw the sparkly dress. Oh wow, they've got the Christmas pyjamas. The Grinch, mom. Oh, we love these, don't we, mom? I just don't know if the colour would annoy me because you know I'm a bit funny about like yeah. pyjama colours. I like it to look kind of like trendy Christmas pyjamas, but they're £10 for the kids' ones in the Grinch. They are nice and they do feel really soft. Um, and then £13 for the adult sets. And you've got like the matching socks, which feel so, so soft. And then the matching um, slipper socks, sort of slipper feel like sort of things, £4.50. Got these big, what are they call mom? Snoody, yeah. snuddy, I don't know what they're called, but they, let me feel it. <gasps> so soft, how much is it? It's £16. £16. Pounds. I think I'm going to buy one for them, Are you? Yeah. So I've just come to their party section. Me and Mum split up now, we're going separate ways because we're on a, we've only got like half an hour. So look at this skirt. What the heck? It is so nice. Oh my gosh, and then I've just spotted this top down here. It's actually already in my basket. Look at that. So the sequins at the bottom, so, so nice. How much is it again? I think it is, how much is it? 14 pounds, that's amazing, I love that. And the skirt's 13. And look at this dress too. It's full on sequins, I love it. 18 pounds. We have landed in the B&M's um, and mum's just deciding what throws to get so we've got this gorgeous one that we've actually got at the flat and I keep saying this one's so nice. It's £20 and it just gives me champagne vibes. Yeah mum, they've got a black one down here so get yourself down to B&M's if you're wanting some fleeces. This one's £16, oh, look at this one, so thermal lining, oh my gosh, £16. Let me see which one mum. I've seen the green wow. one. Wow, this, one. Oh, this is like really an nice emerald like green and that one's £16. Yeah, I'm gonna get, that get that one mum get it yeah and there's just so many nice fleeces some polka dot ones for 20 pounds and then all the way down here they've got these other ones i don't like this one too much i don't think it'll wash well but i think this one looks extremely luxury this is called a popcorn like fur this? throw mom look at that one is really nice and, oh, and they've got a sherpa throw here 15 pounds and this one here in like white i would just spill my tea on that and it would annoy me and that one's 18 pounds which one are you thinking mom I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I've been biased because I've got this one, but I yeah. love this one. It's really nice. The same size. Well, if that one's a little bit, Mum, to be quite honest, I don't like that in the dark emerald. I think this one yeah. is a better colour green. It's like khaki, yeah, <gasps> but I don't know, Mum. Yeah. At the drive-through, working at the car wash. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I probably should have got some water to go with this. Um, but yeah, we just um, we're free security. Everything went well, apart from the fact that our luggage was over four kilograms each. Was it, Lou? It wasn't ideal, to be honest with you. Somehow. Eight kilo and we don't even know how because we, we don't even feel like we packed that much. I actually feel like my suitcase is lighter than last year. I think you've been stacking stuff and made some of that. <laughs> I have put some stuff in Lou's suitcase because I was taking my Olaplex because of doing my hair. But all the stuff we're taking, part of it won't be coming back. So. So the Olaplex is in there. Yeah. That's about three Aussie, kilograms. Aussie shampoos in there. That's why I'm over there. I should have just taken the Aussie out at the check at the thingy, but oh well. Oh well. We've taken it and we don't mind because we're so excited, aren't we? 
Oh no, I just walked through that puddle. We are just about to board the flight. We are so excited, aren't we, Lou? How has it been? A year? Like, I can't believe it, but. That's the same plane we were on last year. Yeah, literally the same time. Right, Lou, back, back. No, not this plane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the same time. We're in the back one. Just having a glass of wine. Lou ordered a Long Island iced tea. He's just gone in. I think he's just gone to get some shade for a second. It is amazingly hot, hotter than it was last year when we were here, and this is the first time I felt heat on our skin since we left last year because it's got a sky. There's just not had any sun this year, so it's so nice to feel the sun. I just think, well, like I've just put my hair in a low bun. Um, but the minute we get to our room, I'm going to get my swimsuit on and just chill out. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I just feel like totally in holiday mode now. We're here um, and jumped in already. So we have arrived in our room. Oh my gosh, let me just show you guys. So when you come in, you instantly get that sea view, losing the pool. Here I am in the mirror. Hello. Yeah, so then you've got the big bed over here, um, wardrobes over here, and then at the bathroom. Oh my gosh, look, you've got the shower, your sink area, your toilet in here. And then you've got like robes on here with your towels. You've just made such an effort. Like they've got you've got your little coffee station. Then we've got this so super cute little display of melons and I think a little dessert. And then over here we've got welcome back in your second home. We missed you, Hi and Louie. We, we wish you an amazing stay, Gloria Palace, Amadora's team. And then we've got like a, a bottle of cava. So that's super cool. Yeah, it's cava, Lou. And then another little um, fruit display. Ah, I'm so excited. And then over here we've got the wardrobe. So I'm actually going to start unpacking soon so I can get my suitcase away. You've got your safe and everything. Lou, the wardrobes are huge in this room. Yeah, there wasn't much No, no. That is huge. Yeah, that's much better. And we've got drawers as well. Keep it yeah, so we're going to... Which wardrobe do you want? Which one? I don't care. The smallest one. The smallest one. So Lou can take that side. I'm going to take this side. <laughs> that's him jumping in the pool again. And then... Coming outside, you've got a little chair here, so I could do my little reading in here. And then over here, you've got the pool area. You've got like your little seats over here. And then um, your outside shower. And then this view, which is just incredible. Waverly, <laughs> um, we're just so impressed. It's absolutely amazing. Look at all these lights. I love the lights. Look, oh, it's so, so nice. And then over here, they've left us a little bag with the towels. And then a little love hat with, I've got my own Gloria um, Palace silver mug. I'm obsessed with that. Um, and I think like a little bag inside. But yeah, oh my gosh, the attention to detail is so much. I'm going to tag the hotel below for you guys um, if you decide to book here. Because honestly, like the, the attention to detail is just amazing. So that is us ready to go out. I'm just going to show you my outfit. We've got our each sides of the pink chair now just to plunk all our stuff on that we don't wear so um i'm wearing this sort of like cool black two-piece dress this is actually from si i think it's called cider the shop um it's got like a cool cut out at the back and then i've got my primark sparkly sandals and i'm just deciding what bag to wear with it and i've got like a little cardigan for my shoulders because it can get a little bit colder in an evening um in grand canaria and um yeah that is my outfit inclusive last night I literally fell asleep and I was asleep for 12 well just under 12 hours about 11 hours 50 um, so this morning we've been taking it really slow it's like three o'clock I'm reading my book 
drinking lots of water and I had a cup of tea in my Gloria Palace mug. Um, now, I brought my tea bags with me this time so I didn't forget them. So it was nice to have a cup of tea in there but I do need to go get some milk from the shop to put in the fridge because the little cartons of milk are just not the same. But we just had a really chill day. It's a little bit overcast today um, but nothing serious. Um, I'm going to show you guys a book I've been reading, highly recommend it. It's the first book I've ever read and I'm so proud of myself and I'm like halfway through it now and I am determined to finish it and I've also taken two more books with me so I'll show you that and I'm also on Pat Awards so I'm going to show you that and then I'm going to finish the vlog here. This is our sea view this morning, it's so beautiful and you can just watch the boats going by and it's just like utter silence, you just don't hear anything apart from the boats, it's so nice. So in the room I've unpacked all the wardrobe into here, let's show you all actually done quite a good job so I've put all my dresses up here I've gone for colors this year which is a shocking situation but I'll show you them as the holiday goes on um, I've got a mixture of colors dresses um, and then in this coat drawer I've just put like swimming stuff bras like beach cover-ups I think I might wear that one today and um, pants a few more like shirt sort of things to cover up because for the sun it's so hot it's flipping 27 degrees last year it never hit that once while we were here in this drawer i've got more night outfits so we've got like these clock trousers with like a sparkly top i've got like these green trousers with another sparkly top so these will be worn like other nights so we've got a couple of clock jumpsuits um and then a couple of like two-piece sets here which like tops and skirts um, we've got some more like sparkly outfits, that's actually a beach outfit that one and then a couple of pairs of denim shorts, I might even wear the denim shorts actually today. Um, so we've got that and then no wonder my luggage was over because this is the shoe situation. Every year I say to myself, I'm just going to take two pairs of shoes, I never do. I've got trainers for like me and Lou are going to do a bit of walking. Um, I've got my Doc Martin sandals which I'm obsessed with, um, these ones which were a pound in Primark, I couldn't believe that, these were also a pound at the end of summer sale so I had to take both of them um, and they're both really comfy, I've got these ones for like the nights I want to wear more of a wedge and then we've got these black ones with like the sequins, I wore these last night, they were so comfy, these silver ones from Primark which I've literally had probably three years now and then these gold ones too which I've had for literally centuries so this is the little wardrobe setup and then up here i've just got like cami tops and stuff that um to go with shorts and another shirt cover up and another handbag for the evening lou's unpacked his suitcase too um he's got like t-shirts shorts trainers at the bottom so we've been really organized with that and we've actually put the suitcases outside um and then we've got my little makeup set up over here and holla me um so you've got all the makeup bits here. I'm so annoyed though because I dropped this this morning and I've broken it and so I need to go to the shop and get some heat protection spray. I did think about putting another squirty thing at the top but um, I need that because now my hair is that blonde. I don't want to it, it to be any damage basically. And so all I've got is, I'll show you in a sec. Over here um, and I put more of my stuff in this drawer here. One sec, is it gonna open? more of my stuff, I just literally chucked all this in, I got a bit bored at this point pack, unpacking um, so I just packed away a few more bits in there, like a little, these like, these are quite good for like covering up for going for breakfast in the morning, I'll take two of them, that was not necessary Harriet yes yeah, so I've got a few little bits in there, I did definitely overpack but I mean it's not the end of the world, I put my Yorkshire tea bags in here um, put the TV on the wall, put some of my jewellery and sunglasses on this bit here and then coming into the bathroom, um, I've got my Olaplex here, so I took the Olaplex. Now, I know our luggage was seriously over this time, but it's because we took nearly everything with us, so we don't need to leave the hotel for the first few days. Um, so we took the Olaplex conditioner and the Olaplex toning shampoo. Now, these were quite heavy because they're quite full, but by the end of the holiday, they won't be full. So we got the, I took the Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo because I know my hair is going to be in a lot of the sun and we used the conditioner last night and it's in there so we've got we're sorted for that sort of stuff we've also got loads of toothpaste i've got two of these extra white ones they're really good for lightening your teeth if you haven't had that i also got this saint maria's tanning mist um this is fantastic just spray on your face in the morning and as you can see i've only been here well i have used it quite a bit already i've only been here since yesterday you just spray it on your face and your neck and it does tan your face as the day goes along and it's really good stuff i got this for my sun cream 
I'm trying to get a little bit of a tan this year. I know it's probably not possible because I don't tan, but it's a tan and protect um, 30 SPF um, spray. So, you know, we'll see what it does. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. Um, this year, for my perfume, I took away a FM perfume. I've never tried them before. Now, I got the Coco Mademoiselle one, and I've sprayed it a little bit already. And as you can see, I do kind of recommend it it does really lose one's better than mine he got like a i don't know which one he got but he got a really good one um so yeah re, i am quite happy with the fm stuff so i'm gonna keep trying i might buy another one try it but i've only sprayed it like literally two or three well a few times now so i'm impressed with it for the price it was such a reasonable price and you don't want to be paying i don't want to be paying that much for perfume anymore so really happy with that um, I got my fake tan, which I haven't used yet. I just used it before we went away, a different one. And then a self-tan remover, which I'm going to stick at this side next to the fridge. Not to the fridge, next to the um, shower. <laughs> so that I can use that for when I'm getting in the shower. And Lou's got his electric toothbrush. I've got my toothbrush. And we're all set. That's literally everything. We've got a little bathroom in there. I mean, the only thing is with these rooms, they don't have doors. So this is the bathroom door. But if you're getting a shower, I mean, the whole world's going to see you. I mean, not the whole world, but anyone in your room so they're a fantastic room but they don't have a shower door like a bathroom door and then there's my side of the bed and yeah that is everything oh and this is the book i'm reading that's what i was going to show you so this is the book i'm reading i am so proud of myself i have never completed a book in all my existence of life ever and I am on chapter 14. I'm using a bank card for a, for a book that just shows how I've never read. And I'm so proud of myself because I am reading. So I'm halfway through this book and hopefully for our holiday vlogs you will see me finishing this book. And so I finished, I'm halfway through that one. And then I brought two more books with me. And as I said, I'm going to try and find one of these. Like, I hope the hotel's got one of them things where you can, like put a book in and trade it for someone else, a book someone else has been reading. I'm going to go look into that today or somewhere locally where you can do that because, oh, just buy another book because I think I'm getting ahead of myself here but I've only taken three books and I'm kind of convinced that I'm going to be finished this within the next couple of days or maybe the next couple of, yeah, next couple of days. So I got the one that goes after it. It's called It Starts With Us, Colleen Hoover. Um, so excited i just really like this one and it says every ending has a beginning so i'm really excited to read this one it didn't have the paperback version like this type of version of it yet so i had to get the i don't know what this is called because as i said i'm not a huge reader but the like harder back i don't know so i got that one and then i got this one in a charity shop which is called into the water paula hawkins and i just decided to take this one because i did get a few more in the charity shop which i couldn't take with me because the luggage was just literally insane i literally took so much stuff um but i took this one because i thought this is more of a thriller kind of vibe so we've gone from like light-hearted lovey you know well like a kind of a love story kind of vibe to into the water and i just feel like this look it looks good do you know what i mean um and this is a thrillery kind of book so i need you to call me back it's important so yeah I'm excited to read this one, but first of all, let's get these two read. And as I said, if I complete this, I'll probably cry because I've never finished a book in all my existence I'm of life. I'm not sure how this vlog is going to come together because I literally feel like at the start of it was all a little bit all over the place. But now we're here, I've rested, and I just feel like I've, well, I have been suffering with extreme burnout. So um, I just felt like the pressure of everything getting ready and just having so much to do before we left. Um, I didn't get to do my whole videos, which was really upsetting for me because I really wanted to get them done. So. Um, hopefully the vlogs coming up will make up for it and oh my gosh excuse my shiny face what is going on but yeah i'm gonna love you guys and leave you all thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you are looking forward to more holiday vlogs and you tune in to them and yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all real soon in my next video bye